Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about how we can install the software to program the Modicon family range. So let's go to the software. So the first thing that we need to know is that in order to install the Machine Expert we need a software called a Schneider Electric Software Installer. So in order to download that, we can access into our website, okay, in the Schneider Electric, just type EcoStructure Machine Expert, and then you can find this download installation file, or you can go to the tab of the utilities and firmwares and download this one, a Schneider Electric Installer. Once you download that, you should be able to find this zip file okay you can unzip it and then inside you can find the installation files so this one is very simple just double click or open as an administrator okay once you open as administrator is the normal stuff okay just proceed proceed in order to make the installation once you finish with installation of the schneider electric software installer what you need to do is to open it and then you should be able to install different software that we have in Schneider Electric. But in this particular case, I'm going to show you for the Machine Expert. So let's wait for this to, to finish for the installation. The Schneider Electric Software Installer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can also see how much does it takes. Okay, installation wizard complete. Okay, so it will open the Schneider Electric software installer. So here it will ask you what do you want to do. You can modify, install software, or install a new software. Okay, so here in this view, you can find the different software that we have. For example, we have the EcoStructure Machine Expert, the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. This one is for the service tools, okay, so safe and the float license manager. So in our case, we're going to use the EcoStructure Machine Expert. We just need to select the version that we want, okay. So here is something important. Depending on the version, we have different uh, PLCs. For example, if you want to program the Modicon M258, probably the latest version that you can use is the 1.2. Version of the EcoStructure Machine Expert 1.2, and then whatever you want, okay, you can use the M258. But uh, on the version 2 of the Machine Expert, we don't have that PLC, so be aware on which one you you um, you need to use, okay. But if you use the M241, M261, M260, or the debug of the uh, or of the pack drive uh, offer, then you can use any of these versions, okay? I always suggest to use the latest one, okay? So, and also be careful about the license, okay? Because if, for example, I believe I have, I have already explained this, but imagine that you were working with the version 1.2, and then when we have the release of the version 2, okay, you will need a different license, okay? You need to buy the same license, uh, the same license reference okay but um, it it validates or activate the version 2 so even if you have the version 1 and if you need to use and if you need to jump into the version 2 of the software okay you will need another license so be careful with that and if you already just started with the latest version with the version 1.2 you can use the version 1 uh, without any problem, as far as I know. So, once we open the Schneider Electric software installer, we just need to use, select the version that we want, okay? Then, we just need to go to the next, and in the next part, we should be able to see the language that we want to install in our laptop, okay? Just leave it think. Okay, just move it here. Just wait for this to finish. So, 
in this part is the easiest one we just select the language that we want okay so next and then we should be able to select the components that we want for the application so you can see all the the main course okay so we can select what we want to install okay and here we can see what we can offer okay depending on the what we have selected okay the other way is to select based the license okay so if we select the license here it told you what does it have okay depends on the two license that we have okay we have the standard professional and after the trial period period we have the free okay but if you're working with Viceo, I don't recommend to use the free because it only allows you for the PLC part. And then we have the option to select the individual components. So here we should be able to select what we want to install. Okay. From the software, I will recommend to select everything in case you want to know more about the software. You also have the installation path. You, you can modify this okay and then we just need to press next so uh, in my case i'm going to use uh, the standard okay and then proceed with the next okay so once you start with this it will start installing i have a virtual machine so this one is going to take some time but the idea i will educate the idea of what's going on okay and how you need to select in your case based in your case and the machine that you want to program one of the things that you should know is that here if you have a problem during the installations or something happen what you can do okay is to collect um unpack the log file so if you have that information imagine that you have a problem during the installation okay just uh what you can do is to collect all the package of the installation process so we can you can send that to the support of your country and then you we can see what is the problem during the installation that you have in case you have a problem during the installation of one of the components so we just uh, accept in this case and start installation and you should be able to see something similar to mm -hmm. uh, okay in my case i don't have a space but probably in yours it doesn't gonna happen so uh, leave us a seat okay yeah no problem so you get the idea how is the process okay um, then the other thing once you complete the installation okay and imagine that you have used the standard and you want to jump into the professional what you need to do is to modify an installation okay probably I can open the other not the virtual, let me just do, do, do. Schneider Electric software installer so I can show you how it should be. Okay, just hide this one. Okay, just wait for the other one to activate. Okay, so in this one, okay, which is in the host machine. You can go to modify version okay select the version that you have okay and then make um add more components to the one that you have so one important thing here is that you have different icons on the version that you have so if you see this icon it means that you have installed the machine expert okay but there are um this version installed as you can see here it's version installed and if I select, for example, this one, 1 to 2, 10, it's completely installed. So all the elements that I want, I already select everything and install everything for the machine export. Okay, that is the idea. But in case you want to customize, you just select the version you want, customize version, next, and then you can select the components that you want to erase from your laptop or delete or other new ones. That is the idea. So select the version that you want in modify, and then you just make the changes that you have that you want okay so this is the idea how you can make the installation of the software ecostructure machine expert so you can program the modicon m258 m251 m262 the pack drive and the m241 so 
thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one